Hey Bass Geek here. We're out on Cumberland Lake for the third BFL tournament in the Mountain Division. I got my buddy J-Man with us. Hopefully we're gonna catch some, we're gonna figure it out, and we're gonna explain to you guys what we do. If not, then you know we'll just you'll just watch us suck, I guess. <laughs> Bass Geek of J-Man out here. Look at that toad. Can't even fit in the camera frame. All right, so that ain't the tree that I caught it out of, about 23 foot. Uh, but I've seen, as you can see right there, some big old dots, about 10 foot, eight foot down. And basically what I did is I picked up a jerk bait. We're back third of a, of a creek. Just threw out there and there was a tree Looked like it had a bunch of Christmas uh, balls on it, and uh, one of them bit. Uh oh, I touched the button on the Garmin. Never touch a button on the Garmin. <laughs> Been blocking all the camera. Oh, dude, you're fine, trust me, you're not blocking anything. Me and Jeremy joke all the time, and he's like, I know I'm blocking this camera. I said, Jeremy, no, you're not. Yeah, trust me. And I'm like, you know, the biggest Jeremy is, I know you ain't blocking that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what's in that here? Yeah, it's like that. There's a stump, about two, three pounds of corn. Shotty? Oh, yeah. There you go. That largey, ain't it? Mm. He ain't no keeper. Mm -hmm. 15 you might inches. Touch. Not 15. You turn my thing off? I think like you tore my thing off. He's got lip, just a little bit of lip sticking. He might be 15. He might be. I hooked him in the tongue. He'll be close. First keeper, largemouth. There you go. All right, Jerry just caught his first largemouth keeper. So technically, we got two in the boat. Uh, them spots ain't gonna help us. That keeper, he'll at least get us a limit, so we're at least doing something. Oh, another little spot, I believe, ain't it? What are you throwing there, Jerry? Two, three bites on that now. Thigh leaf. Thick worm. Using it as a floating worm. Yep. And he's just twitching it. That didn't sink twitching. That sink to almost the other side, then one of them take off. What size hook you got three, on it? Three out. Three out, and uh, what line you throwing on it? Uh, I'm throwing, uh, I think, a seven pound uh, sniper MC fluorocarbon leader and a 10 pound braid. Uh, I think it's a Daiwa day braid. He's talking about fishing in floats and docks. And... Oh, talking? he was talking about fishing. Uh, what was he talking uh, He was talk actually talking about fishing the. Uh... Get the net. Got a big one. <laughs> Not. There you go. Giant. G -g 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 Giant. <laughs> <laughs>
where's he at? Under that dock? Right side of that dock. Hmm. There's the biggest one of the day. Daryl's homemade jig. But you gotta check on the last turn. Yeah. Strikes him. <laughs> that red tail. Oh yeah, he's been. He's still old. Yeah. I don't know if that's a big male or what. He's keeping. Oh, my damn worm. Come on. Come on. Well, we got a small mouth. He ain't the size we need. Man, he's, I'll tell you what, though. That fish right there is pure, pure muscle. But uh, we made a little bit of a run. We put a few dings on the bottom of the boat this time around. Let me tell you, Cumberland is full of floaters. But non-keeper. All right, guys, this is day two of practice. You know, we had some mild success, we'll call it, yesterday. You know, we fished a lot of creeks yesterday. We're gonna fish a lot of pockets today, main lake pockets. Um, you know, that's kind of the deal on this lake. It's creeks or pockets, <laughs> you know. Our buddy Christian's doing pretty well, uh, but you know, uh, we caught a few yesterday. The biggest problem on this lake is going to be, and, and we talked to a lot of different people, and it's really going to be finding keepers, catching keepers. Almost everybody we talked to, you know, that we know, it's been just, uh, you know, we'll catch them, but it'll take all day to get five. And I, right now, that's kind of what it's looking like for us too, wouldn't you say? Yep. You know, so, so we run creeks yesterday. We're going to run pockets today. We'll talk about uh, what we're doing if we catch some. This is the first and last post for day two. You know, it went real bad for us. <laughs> All right, let's get to fishing. Forgive me, Jerry. I'm going to try and get on the other side of this. Oh, What'd you get him on? Fluke? Yep. White fluke? Small mouth? Not a lot of white fluke. Oh. How large he? He might. Jerry back? Bump him, see? Yeah, I don't know. He... Yep, I'd say you're right. I'm not going to bet against you. Look, oh. Look, he's pretty long. He's keeper. Oh, line burner. Let's keep All right, good job. All right, guys, so midday of day two, we've caught some. Uh, hopefully I caught most of them on the camera, 
Jerry's caught most of them. We've lost a couple, but right now, I don't want to say it too loud. I don't see anybody around us, but basically what we run today coincides really with what we found yesterday. And, uh, you know, the only real difference is we're doing it on main lake uh, as opposed to creeks. So now we're way back up in one of the major creeks, uh, you know, just kind of moving along here on a uh, no wake zone. But uh, we're going to kind of look at the same thing. You know, we've, we've got a, a little pattern, you know, the only problem with the pattern is that it's you go into one of these cuts and it's one fish and if you catch one you might as well might as well leave because <laughs> you ain't gonna catch another one uh trust me we've tried and it is literally the backs so what we believe is going on is that these fish are in full recovery mode uh we're seeing we think they're fry, you know, bigger fry. They, they could be shad. We know we're seeing some balls of shad in some of these places, but up shallow, we're seeing small, and, and we've not been able to get close enough or get a good look, look really to tell if they're bass fry, but that's kind of what we believe they are. So we believe we're well into the post spawn. Every fish we've caught kind of been beat up. So we're just trying to see you know where we can do this how much we can do this if this is just going to be an everyday thing and uh really so far probably two bait shine maybe maybe narrow it down to one really i mean what do you what do you think maybe three tops we could rotate a fluke uh float worm and uh and, and a wacky rig worm but i i think you can almost narrow it down to a wacky don't you yeah, I'd probably want to pull up. Uh, I'd probably want to have two or three on. Yeah, just to see. Deck, see. See what mood you're in. That day, that, that day, minute. You know. Yeah. So, uh, it's going to be a grind. We, you know, we think it's going to take probably 12 pounds to catch a chick, but it's probably going to take, I'm going to say, low 16s. I could be wrong. I mean, I've. This is probably only the third time I've ever fished this lake. So every time I've fished it, you know, the one one thing that we've really the water's down, you know, eight feet. I think. And you know, every time I've been here it's been pretty much full pool or above full pool. So, you know, finding that cover. You know, I was really hoping for that, that pink float worm bite to be on, but finding that cover, it's been tough. And they really haven't wanted that, that pink worm. So, all right, let's ride and throw a few more baits. What's right here looks good. This right here reminds me. Wasn't we at a creek? Was it me and you? Maybe it was on South Holston. Maybe it was me and one, one of those two three mike or somebody we was in the back of a creek and there's a big rock big square rock just like that sitting back there and i said is that a crappy we had about 10 of them so we need how on the crappy <laughs> I seen him flash and he was wide and I was like, man, that is a creepy boy. I mean, that's a heavy one too. Mm -hmm. It's been a crappy day fishing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. All right, guys, so I'm going to be a little bit quiet because everybody else is in bed and I'm still up getting files transferred so we drew boat 127 gonna be a little a little late into the field but basically what we were finding is in, in the backs of pockets like literally the backs of pockets and you know floating worms wacky wacky rigs flukes you know couple on spinnerbaits couple on 
you know, one, you know, had a bite on a jerk bait, and you know, it's just what it is. Really ground hard. It takes about 16 pounds on average to win this tournament. Uh, so, you know, we'll need some help. I think we can grind out five keepers tomorrow. Um, it's just going to be, I mean, running spots, spot to spot to spot. We're going to fish, you know, very precise, a very precise pattern. So, uh, see what we do. All right guys, so we drew boat 121. This is my co-angler, Lucas. You wanna say hi to anybody? Uh, it's tied to my family and my friends back in Bria. There you go. So he's this is his home lake. Hopefully he's gonna put us on some, uh, put us on some bass today. <laughs> Cause you know, we was on some in practice. You guys seen that already. Uh, so hopefully between me and him, we're gonna put something together where me and him both get to at least uh, cash check today if not hey look we're just fishing for five we're going fishing this is what we're doing and uh we're gonna have a good time trying to do it all right i guess we're gonna get ready to go blast off let's go catch some fish that good yep that's good well no one's still here and that's a good spot for Did it take long, did it? No, that did not. I don't know what he's going to keep. Mm -hmm. Large amount. Thanks, sir. Go ahead, I got you set down there. Thank you. So, so we ain't got to spend a whole lot of time on it. But, uh, I'd be catch good to that if I'm all been there. Probably in keeper. Nah, you ain't got many, man. Go ahead, fish. I'll get the fight out of him. I'll get the fight out of him. Said, dude, you didn't have to waste no time doing that. I got him. You said it, David. All right, guys, nice old fat small one. But again, he ain't no keeper. Now that might be a keeper. Uh, he's either a large mouth or a spot. I didn't get a great look at it. Yep. Oh. Yeah. There you go. That one might be a keeper. First keeper, guys. Well, he's beat up. I just got to show you this. I don't know how you can see it or how well you can see it, but that is a cow floating upside down. Literally. Back in here, it looked good. Uh, no, 
not a keeper. I got pockets like this on the house on right in the back of it. I don't know. This is the kind of was catching and flipping that brush all the time. The kind of was a little bit of trash, not like that one that we just fished. Come on, buddy. Another shorty with a headache. Get your one shed. I've got to have a stick. Big timing, baby. Big timing. There's one. Where are you? I got I might have me a keeper. Look at that. Hey. He is a keeper. You better pop that over. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't zero. <laughs> one twenty one. Hank Rogers. I got one toasted. Yes, sir. Need to sign anything? Three, two. Three, two. Hank Rogers, free dash. There's a boater, Big Stone, Gap, Virginia. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. What's going on, geeks? I'm sitting back here, literally filming this outro the day the video is going to come out. So, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. You know, you don't get the hype of the Mother's Day, but listen, a good father, good dads are something that is heavily needed in our time. And for you guys to be towing the line, it says a lot, and we should get a lot more respect than what we do on these one day of the year that we get it. All that being said, so this tournament went about the way I thought this tournament was going to go. I knew we were going to catch some fish. We're going to catch some numbers of fish. And I think during the tournament day, I, I think I caught 20 plus bass, but most of them were non-keepers. That was going to be the hard thing. These bass were the largemouth that were moving out. They were the males. Probably what I should have done, and if I really had a little more time, probably what I should have done is spent a little more time doing what I did the first fish, and that is putting that lime scope down because there's a ton of standing timber, and looking at that standing timber toward the mouths of those creeks were more than likely those bigger females were going to be. Um, you know, I had one die on me and I did everything I could do, but the mortality rate, a lot of you guys may not know this, the mortality rate for male largemouth, because a lot of times they don't feed a lot or at all from the time they start making the bed until the time they get done guarding the fry. 
And so the mortality rate is really high for those bass. Uh, you know, they go through a lot that time of year. Uh, and I think that's what, that's what got him. You know, I didn't stick him in a tongue. I didn't get him in an eye or anything weird. It was uh, literally, we finished off right across from, and, and that's where my co-angler caught his keeper. We finished off right across from the uh, check-in in the marina that we were blasting off on. And uh, I checked him before we left. And literally from the time we went across the lake, he he passed away. I hate that. Anyway, uh, it was a decent tournament. You know, we weighed in three. I, you know, I, I feel like if that one would have stayed alive, it was, uh, I think it was five pounds even I had total. I feel like if that one would have stayed alive and I lost two, um, and that's why I picked up the jerk bait was because me and my co-angler had had several hits on a shaky head as we were reeling it up. So I decided to pick up that jerk bait. And as long as we was in a little bit of dirtier water, that jerk bait was flat smoking them. Uh, I mean, I think I picked up the last keeper that I got to weigh in within two, three casts uh, of, of picking up that jerk bait. But uh, we ended up getting into some clear water and I had to put it back down and pick up that shaky head again. And the shaky head bite just kind of died off at that point. Been a tough season, man. Been one of the toughest seasons I've ever had, but I've learned a ton on this lake. Uh, I'm going to tell you, the Barren River was horrible to me, and uh, there's really not going to be. It, it kind of played out the same way this one did. Uh, I probably caught eight, nine on tournament day, and, uh, you know, that was a lake I was looking super forward to because the last time I was on it, you guys can go look. Uh, we we cranked the crap out of them it was such a fun lake but they were suspended this time and i just didn't make the proper adjustments i probably should have been out there live scoping on that too but you know i mean i, I like i said i know a lot of you guys have hard feelings about the live scope but if you're going to tournament fish you just might as well you just might as well get used to it yes you can win tournaments uh not live scoping but i'll tell you this right now that's the exception, not the rule. So anyway, a lot of good things happening around the channel. I think we're going to start pushing out three videos. So it'll be five videos a week. We'll get, uh, we're going to get back into doing the shorts, two shorts, three videos. I think we're going to try and start doing that in June. Uh, we picked up enough uh, partners that I think maybe next year we're going to get to do this full time we're really going to get to share some some stuff with you guys as i get better and i learn more i'm going to share it with you uh the other thing is guys if you get value out of a video hit that thanks and for you guys that already have man send me a picture email me a picture because in every uh bass geek box at the end of the bass geek box we shout you guys out that sponsor the channel and that send us thanks. So, and what we do is like we do $1. So $1 equals a month. And so for you guys that have contributed a ton, uh, some of you have sponsored for basically the next four years. <laughs> so, so, you know, uh, that's awesome. And I appreciate it. And it really, you know, eventually what I'd like to get to and sponsors, I'm sorry about this. I'd like to get to the point to where we're geek sponsored 110%, you know, that way, you know, we're always doing the things you guys want us to do. You, you guys own and run the channel, right? Uh, you do anyway, but, uh, you know, you know, check out the hats. They're on the website, the shirts, of course, um, man, you know, we got shorts out there. So, you know, that helps the channel, that helps us take these trips that we, we take and, and, you know, pay for gas and stuff. Uh, so make sure you go check that stuff out. But as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk about fishing with you. Like it if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell because the most important thing is the 100% Watch Squad. Guys, watching 100% of the video is a big, big deal and hitting that like button. So if you like it, like it. 
but please join that hashtag 100% watch squad. And as always, you geeks rock.